there is a difference between how a new data scientist will think and how a experienced data scientist will think. If you want to stay relevant in the industry, then you have to maintain this difference in your profile. Welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this video, I am going to tell you how to develop the perspective of looking at missing values as a huge case. Okay. Basically, what should happen is as an experienced data scientist, you should have your own perspective of looking at problems. Though there are given bookish knowledge, for example, this is how this should be done. But if you are an experienced person, you will look from different lens. I will take an example of missing value and tell you in four steps or four, you know, areas of thought, how you can look at missing values. Number one, you have to understand the context of missing value. Let me give you an example. Okay. Um, I take a camera and a mic and go on the streets of Bangalore. Okay. And I ask to everybody who is on the street. Hey, what is your age? Hey, what is your height? Hey, what is your favorite food? Who is your favorite actor? All these things people are comfortably answer. Okay. But at the moment I ask, Hey, what is your salary? Maybe 50% of the people will not answer this. Now put this data in a tabular format and go to the salary column. What you will see? You will see 50% of the salaries are blank. Now, this is not a missing value, which we cannot understand. If you look from the lens of common sense, right? People are not generally open about their salaries. They don't want to disclose their salaries. So here, this missing value can be treated in a different way, which I'm going to explain towards end of this video. Okay. But first try to understand in what context is this missing value telling me something? This is the same topic on which I created a shorts. You can watch that shorts as well. Okay. Now this is the missing value. It is telling me something about that. There can be other kinds of missing value. For example, there is a sensor which captures temperature of my room every, let's say 30 minutes. Okay. Sensor, there is some issue with the sensor. The, you know, for four to five hours, the sensor is not capturing anything. So those four, five hours values will be blank. Now this missing value will be treated in a different way. First step, try to understand the context of missing value. Is that missing value telling you something? First thing. Second thing, can I have missing value in my data? Now, many of the new people who work in data science, because they have been taught in their um, training institute that if you see a missing value, replace with mean, median, what, whatever you do and then move ahead. Okay. So whatever algorithms you are using, it does not apply to all. Let me give you two examples here. If you are taking XG boost, no need to replace missing value with anything. XG boost claims it automatically takes care of that. How in XG boost, when a tree gets fit, suppose it encounters a missing value. Okay. So that missing value, if it splits, it will go left or right. That XG boost will decide on your behalf. Understand this guys. On your behalf, XG boost will decide. So you no need to worry much about the missing value for a basic model in XG boost. Now let's come to linear regression. In linear regression, your equation is y is equal to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus c. You are telling your model to learn y based on x1 and x2 and you are keeping either x1 x2 as blank. Now this mathematical equation becomes invalid. Hence, in linear regression, you should not have missing value or in logistic regression. Okay. So second point I want to make here in all the models, it, it's not always necessary that you cannot have missing value. Okay. Again, an interview question, people will ask you, will this model get impacted by missing value? Something like that. So try to understand not always it will fail your model. Okay. Now comes the third point, how to take care of the missing value. So you have many ways that Python gives you many ways that you know already mean replacement, median replacement, mode replacement, forward fill, backward fill, can an imputation do a modeling on that value. Um, there are some fancy mechanisms also that have come. I have created a video on that as well. You can see that and many uh, things. Some of these you may know, some of these you may not be knowing. You can read and, you know, replace, but try to understand this guys. Is this making sense? Okay. Um, if you take a normal procedure of how do you build and train a model, right? Maybe, um, let's take salary example. Uh, let, let's take salary example. Okay. 
so tcs employees okay tcs employees um salary range will be very huge right even after doing a uh, let's say outlet treatment or even after you know uh, doing some kind of mechanism to take care of your extremes either lower or upper extremes right the range or the numbers distribution is so um, you know complex that maybe if you do a any kind of all these methods that i told you right can an imputation or or any imputation may not make much sense i am not saying it will not make sense may not make much sense in a complex business scenario okay you can try this but may not make much sense then how you should look at this now you have understood the context of missing value now you have understood if you can go ahead with missing value or not go ahead with missing value obviously the best practice will be why go ahead with the missing value right and third you know can i take any of the any of the approaches that i know you can obviously take but i am here talking about experienced data scientist you should be able to uh, explain things which will impress the interviewer or which will impress the person who is talking to you if you are a consultant if you are talking to your client your consul your you know client should get impressed that okay i am talking to a person who has worked on various huge cases okay come back to tcs um, employee salary example okay let's say uh, i go on the streets of bangalore again and i ask to people okay uh, what is your salary and i get like 50% of the value is missing value okay now if i talk of one particular organization for an example right then in this case i am just telling you because you will be able to correlate okay from my domain knowledge i know that uh, you know an it engineer working in bangalore in the range of 3 to 5 years of experience okay years of experience we can just deduce based on the age or based on looking at the person maybe based on 3 to 5 years experience the range can be x range to y range based on my domain knowledge okay i can be slightly 10 20% here and there up and down but based on my knowledge somebody with 15 plus years of experience may be in the range of this to this based on my domain knowledge okay now you go and write a function or a switch or a you know if else con condition where you say that if i want to impute this missing value check the experience column if experience falls in this range put the value this if experience falls in this range put the value this also do not hard code a value okay for example uh, don't say that put all the salaries at 10 lakhs per annum okay you can say put the salary randomly uh, between let's say 8 lakhs to 12 lakhs Well, somebody will get 12 lakhs somebody will get 8 lakhs somebody will get 11 lakhs in that range impute the value in this experience level somebody um, impute the value from this given range now is it making sense guys are you able to correlate with what i'm saying in place of a blind mean replacement or median replacement is it making much sense what i'm telling can you arrest neighbors also i like for the same reason it will take the nearer thing and it will do but sometimes in scaling there is a problem and in multi dimensional feature sometimes you know it chooses neighbor as wrong neighbors okay that is where the problem comes so if you have a domain knowledge if you have some bit of domain understanding you can take a sophisticated way of treating your missing value in my opinion i have that experience also okay some of the models have worked really well for me if i did something like this okay though there are some state of the art given ways of working with missing values i also have made, made videos on that but as i told in the beginning right you want to be expert in some field you are calling yourself a data scientist you should develop that thought process uh, so that you are justifying that you are a scientist okay so i hope you are able to understand what i'm trying to tell you guys and that is the you know please go ahead and comment what are your thoughts on this video okay so that i also learn something from you okay and please go ahead and subscribe to the channel guys you guys are not subscribing please go ahead and subscribe to the channel please press a thumbs up if you like this video i will see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care